children welcome to the class of science we are learning the topic fiber to fabrics so today we are going to start up with the point of some plant fibers so we are going to start up with some plant fibers in that we are going to first talk on cotton okay so cotton is a fiber which is obtained from cotton plant cotton plant requires warm environment and black soil for its growth so these cotton plants when they are sown seeds when they are sown they grow up into a cotton plant during the harvesting period the cotton plant gives fruits which are called as the cotton balls these cotton balls consist of cotton you must have well seen the fields of cotton during the harvesting period they they look like as if there is a snowfall in the field all over it you can see that the field is fully covered with white white ball like structure we call it as cotton balls which are actually the fruit of cotton plant so these cotton balls are plucked and the fiber is separated from the seed with the help of the process known as combing so a long comb is used and in this way scraping is done on the seeds to remove the fibers of cottons from the seed you must have seen the cotton ball that it consists of a tiny seed inside so the seed should be removed during this process and this process is called as the ginning process the combing of uh, the cotton fiber from the seed is called as the ginning process and once the ginning is done you obtain seedless cotton fibers so cotton plant it requires warm and black soil for its growth the fruits of the cotton plant are called as cotton balls and you have the process of we have just now talked the process of ginning which is actually a combing process so we will move to our second a plant which is jute plant now the plant jute is grown during rainy season this plant requires lot of water for its growth so is grown in the rainy season what actually part of jute we use we use the stem when the tree is uh, uh, comes in the harvesting stage it is cut down and the root, uh, stems are soaked in water for few days so after soaking these jute stems for few days it starts to rot it starts to rot the jute stems are soaked in water and it starts to rot these rotten jute stems now can be easily separated with hand and the jute yarn is produced with the help of these rotten jute stems so children uh, in india it is grown in the regions of west bengal then you have assam and bihar these regions jute is grown on the very large scale so we have uh, cotton growing regions in india are uh, gujarat you have maharashtra you have madhya pradesh and some parts of rajasthan these are the cotton growing regions we likewise we have seen west bengal assam and bihar for jute growing regions so children uh, after talking about this part this part we will come to our next part which is spinning cotton yarn now what is spinning cotton yarn 
spinning cotton yarn is whatever cotton we have uh, separated from the seed we need to spin it into a yarn that is a thread like structure we need to spin it into it so that is uh, a cotton is holded like this a mass of cotton is holded in hand like this and there is a needle called as the takli this needle helps in pulling a thread of cotton is pulled out through the mass and it is twisted with the hand like this so twisted pulling out of single yarn from the mass of cotton and then twisting it like this and then rolling it on some roll now in this way a yarn is made out of a mass of a, a fibers of cotton if you will take one piece of cotton uh, fiber you yarn you will see that there are millions of tiny tiny fibers thread like structures so in this way a mass of cotton is taken and it is pulled out and then it is twisted with the help of a needle spindle we call it as it is takli t a k l i and there is one more method it is of by using charkha charkha can be used for spinning of cotton yarn you know that this was introduced by mahatma gandhi ji for the first time to use our swadeshi fiber which is a cotton he was the first person to introduce the use of charkha for the first time in india so children this was all for our today's lecture i hope you have understood it well we have seen it we have seen some cotton fiber uh, plant fibers among it we have seen cotton and jute plants and the spinning of yarn process the latter part of the topic we will be discussing it in our next video till then students take care of yourself and family stay home stay safe